Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see Boolean laws and theorems. These Boolean laws are very much important in reducing the complex Boolean expression into a simplest form. What happens if we have a complex expression means it takes much logic gates and circuit becomes complex. So we need to reduce the Boolean expression into a simplest form to get the same functionality. These Boolean laws are helpful in such cases. So let us see the proof of some Boolean expressions also and let's write the logic circuits for those. First one is commutative law. Here you can see if you have an expression like two variables taken with logical R operation. If you have A plus B, we can also write it as B plus A. It will not make any difference. So a single R gate taking A as input and B as input. Here also B and A are the inputs. Similarly for the product A and with B can be written as B and with A. It will not make any difference in the circuit. Then associative law. Associative law says if A plus B group put together first then we are writing it as plus C. It means A R with B will be calculated first and then the result of that will be taken into one more R gate for C. So this gives the result as a plus b plus c this can also be written as a plus of b plus c here within the bracket term b plus c will be calculated then the output of that will be taken with a then a plus b plus c will be the result so we can write a plus b plus c as a plus of b plus c also similarly when there is a product in between three variables a into b can be grouped together and then c can be written outside Similarly, A into B into C. Here also, the grouping makes the difference is that first these two term product will be calculated, then it will take the product of A. Similarly, if we group AB together, AB will be calculated, then it will take C into account. But the logic and the functionality between these two expressions will be same so that we can write in this way or we can write it in this way. Next one is distributive law. Here, if you have A into B plus C, we can distribute this B plus C with respect to A. It becomes AB plus AC. Here also, if you look at the circuit for these two expressions, here in the LHS we will be having B plus C together. So B plus C will be calculated. Then it will be taken with A for AND gate product. So Y will be generated finally. Suppose if you are going to use distributive law and return it as A into B plus A into C, it takes three gates. A into B and A into C will be calculated at a time. And after that, the R operation or plus will be executed with one R gate. This is the difference between distributive function and the grouped function. But for the simplification purpose, we can take a into B plus C as AB plus AC, the logic will be same. And also if we have A plus of B into C, we can distribute this into A plus B into A plus C. Then we have AND gate loss. Suppose if we have two variables like this or one variable with some constant value. Suppose if we have A into 0, it gives 0 irrespective of the value at A the output will be 0. And similarly, if you have any variable with value 1 in AND logic, it gives the same variable or result. You can see at the truth table, if you have 0, 0, output is 0. If you have 0, 1, output is again 0. Means, it will be not depending on this one. It will, if the any one of the input is 0, output will be 0. That's why in A into 0, it is 0. And A into 1 is A itself. Why? Because once the input, any one of the input is 1 in AND gate, it will be depend on the other input also. So both the inputs are 1, then only output is 1. So it will be depending on A here. That's why output is A. Similarly, if the two variables are same in AND gate, the output will be the same variable. 0 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. So A into A becomes A itself. Similarly, if you have A into A bar, 
one value is true value and the other value is complement of that it means 1 into 0 or it is like 0 into 1 that's why output is 0 you can also see these expressions with respect to the logical circuit is concerned with different set of values here a is 0 a bar becomes 1 here so 1 into 0 is 0 if a is equal to 1 a bar is equal to 0 then output will be 0 again then we have r loss here if any variable r with 0 it gives the same variable as output if a will be 0 0 plus 0 gives 0 again if a is 1 1 plus 0 gives 1 again in the r gate if you have 0 at one variable the output will be depend on other variable you can see here in the case when b is equal to 0 whatever we have a that will be the output so if you have 0 with r logic other input will be the output a plus 1 will also gives 1 why because r gate any one of the input is 1 it gives the output 1 so if you look at the truth table these last can be easily remembered similarly if you have two same variables in r logic it gives the same result suppose a plus a gives a b plus b gives b again similarly a plus a bar if you have it gives 1 so if any complementary values are taken into r gate it gives always 1 so if you have same values it gives the same value so we can reduce having a plus a a plus a plus a like that we can replace that by a and then if you have a double bar a bar again that bar it gives the result same it will be same as a again if you put double bar for this it gives the same value as a you can see here a will be given with 0 it will be having two complement it gives the same result what we have at the input similarly if you have one at the input after two negations it will it will gives the same result again as one then we have absorption law we can also call it as redundance law here if you have a plus a b this complex expression can be reduced to a let us prove this let me take lhs lhs is a plus a b we can take a as common out of these two so it becomes a into 1 plus b we know that in the r gate if any one of the input is 1 it gives 1 as result so b plus 1 becomes 1 again so a into 1 in and gate if any expression will be with 1 it gives the same expression so finally it will be the result is a so this complex expression a plus a b can be replaced with a and also you can see in the truth table this a will be same as a plus a b then if you have a plus a bar b we can replace that by a plus b again let us take lhs a plus a bar b here this a can be written as a plus a b we have seen in the previous case here a plus a b is a in place of a we can write it as a plus a b so here i am writing this a as a plus a b plus the second expression that is a bar b here in these two second and third expressions b is common i can take b common it becomes b into a plus a bar again a plus a bar for our gate if you have different values the output will be 1 so a plus a bar can be replaced by 1 so the result is a plus b now you can see a plus a bar b in the truth table it can be compared with a plus b it gives the same result so whenever we have a plus a bar b in the expression we can replace that by a plus b the next one is very important theorem that is de morgan's theorem de morgan theorem says if we have a into b whole bar means it is a complement of a product here we are taking a into b and we will be having a complete bar this can be splitted as a bar plus b bar means the statement says complement of a product is equal to sum of individual complements how to prove this we can write a truth table by taking a and b values and generating a bar b bar then a into b then we can write a into b whole bar and also a bar plus b bar 
if these two matches then we can say a into b whole bar can be replaced by a bar plus b bar here it is a complement of a product it is replaced by sum of individual complements similarly if we have complement of a sum a plus b is a sum we will be having a complement for that it will be replaced by a bar into b bar it becomes product of individual complements this can also be proved by using the truth table again by generating a plus b and also taking a plus b whole bar and then a bar into b bar here you can see a plus b whole bar and the values are same as a bar into b bar values this is about the boolean loss and proof of sum of the loss this will be very helpful in reducing the complex expression into simplest form thank you